Um, let me uh, put that down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> camera cut off. Sorry. Anyway, what I was talking about before was you can 12 volt ground or 5 volt. Um, you can use either 12 volt or 5 volt and you put your DMX here. I think it's the only pins one and two are used. I'm not sure. I haven't played around with these controllers that much. My phone will focus. And then it will output to, I would recommend just using the W2811s. Um, again, this is a pick microcontroller, so pick it can hook up to the header. And you can program this also, but you probably don't have to. Probably comes pre-controlled. Haven't, like I said, I haven't messed around with these. But then you can run your DMX to this thing, and then control smart controllers. Even though these mainly uh, control, you know, incandescent lights, stuff like that. So that's the benefit about having a DMX. You can output, and your four channels coming out of each one of these will get deciphered to the four channels of smart pixels. So you can run on those. This is for incandescent lights. And this is for um, smart pixels. As you can see, there's a lot more going on there. This is just a uh, Holiday Coro sells these. These uh, Holiday Coro um, does not sponsor me, but I'm going to tell you right now that is one damn good website right there. Almost everything you see here came from Holiday Coro. Um, I bought the stuff in the box, and most of this stuff came in here. And I'm learning so much about. Um, DMXing and stuff, and I haven't blown anything up. I haven't blown anything up, uh, anything up. So, um, but yeah, DMX, DMX, and you know, this is this is more or less DMX in, and then an analog out. So you get where my drift going there. Um, so anyway, um, so this is a. And this is not 16 channels. This doesn't mean I can only run 16 strips on a smart pixel controller. You can run up to about three strips of 150 controllable individual lights like these WS2811s. Um, this is a strand of 50 right here. Um, they are polarity now. Um, if you accidentally hook up the data wire which i believe is this white wire right here you hook that up to there it touches power the whole strip is done sorry you just fried your whole strip and each one of them and you might not be able to see this because it's pretty blurry one says five volts uh, di data in and ground so on this side it says data in okay on the other side Wherever that may, wherever that may be, I don't know. But on the other side, it would say data. Yeah, here we go. Data out. Yes, data out and data in. So make sure data in is going to your controller. I'm not really gonna go. <coughs> excuse me. Not really gonna go into how to set any of this stuff up. It is very complex. All this stuff, especially if you're getting new, if you're new to smart uh, controllers and stuff, buy this. And you're not good at soldering or anything like that. Buy this Sans device, um, six eighty two. Read the manual about seventeen times to twenty times, and you'll get to know exactly how to use this. A hammer it in your head because there's some things you can do to this controller that it's not gonna like and you're not going to like it either for $189 fully assembled, $109 if you buy the kit and it comes in a whole bag of different parts and you have to solder it yourself. So if you're just getting new into pixels and stuff like that, this is the way to go. This is pretty easy. This is this is not that not that hard. But let's say you don't you don't want to spend all that money and you don't need all these channels, you know? And you, you know, this one I mean that's a lot of that's a lot of lights right there. Last year these four that are plugged in here ran a twelve strand twelve strand fifty pixels 
each strand. So 12 of these strands. Actually, forgive me for a second, but here's my tree actually sitting right here. And again, holiday coral, check them out because that's where the strips came from. Um, so yeah. So 12 of these strands. And then um, I power injected the strands to get, if you go too long, you're going to start having data problems and stuff like that. But pretty much this is all configured. There's uh, firmware updates or through the Ethernet. Um, every, all your data transactions through the Ethernet. Um, get to know how to do this. Get to know your software first. Get to know what software. And I would recommend x Lights or Vixen. Um, one of those two. x Lights, preferably. It's free. Vixen's free also. Um, x Lights has come a long way since um, a couple years ago. Some developers have gotten on x Lights and just blowing my mind right now. It's awesome programming. So you don't want as many channels now this is this is the exact same thing except for this is a j1 sys um ethicon gateway runs the same way you log into a web page you can configure these ports and as you can see you have only eight ports but like i said i ran a 12 string 50 strand eight foot tall tree printed pictures on it with only four plugs so you don't need, not every strand has to go in a plug. For simplicity, if you have a really big show and all that, for simplicity, yes. I would, I would say just use this as universe 1, universe 2, universe 3, universe 4. If you could, I mean, if you have more stuff, you're going to have to figure out um, that. But study DMX, how it works, and uh, 131... Uh, uh, protocols and stuff like that. This is called the Renard. I didn't even tell you what that was. The Renard Plus 32. And the SANS device 682. Ethicon Gateway. This is the same thing as that. It's just huge and just outrageously big. But it has Ethernet capability to configure these. Also has jumpers. Again, I haven't messed with that that much. All right, Jeff. Uh, all right, YouTubers. I'm sorry. I'm Jeff. All right, YouTubers. Um, uh, yeah, so Jeff's getting into the uh, the pre-startup of Christmas here. So he's making sure all this stuff's going to come together and it's going to be really easy to put together, which I'm pretty sure I'm going to have some snags. But be safe out there, YouTubers, and have a great day.